What can really spice up your MIDI is adding MIDI effects to your instrument tracks, or otherwise known as note effects. I'm going to create a new MIDI track, and let me call this MIDI effects. And on this, I'm going to load up the presence sampler instrument. This opens up and doesn't have any sounds loaded in, so let me load up a preset. I'm going to go to the synths folder, the leads, and I quite like this patch here. It's got a pretty strange name, Dude Lead. It's a nice dual synth sound with some panning going on. I'm going to close this instrument window, then back on the brass panel, I'm going to go here to the note effects. And here's the selection of MIDI devices or note effects that are available. There's an arpeggiator, a corder to generate chords, an input filter to filter out specific MIDI notes, and a note repeater. I want to use the arpeggiator, so I'm going to drag this onto the MIDI effects track. You'll see it creates a note events icon down here, showing you that it has a note effects event on the track. So I can click the keyboard icon to bring up the instrument interface and then this Notes Events icon to bring up the Notes Events interface. And instantly now, when I play a chord, I get an arpeggiation. And the arpeggiation does change depending on how many notes you hold down. Here's one note, two notes, three notes, and four notes. I can change the intervals of these arpeggiations, and this is locking to the tempo of the song. can also gate the notes by dialing down the gate parameter over here or increase the note length by increasing the gate. Or how about swinging the arpeggiation pattern? And the range can be increased by stepping up this octave range over here. And if I increase the pattern length, I can go up to the graph above here and give different volume amounts for each step in the arpeggiation. And if I hover my mouse here on the side of each step, I can drag these in, giving unique gate effects. And at the top here, there's some different pattern choices. I can go up, there's down, there's up, down, down, up, and then some randomized patterns. Cool, I could spend all day doing that, but let's get back to the course. So that's just a little demonstration on how to add these note effects onto MIDI tracks and how they can vary up MIDI performances.